I'm Deep Mahaman and you're watching The Redman TV. Hello and welcome to this breaking news starting 11 prediction show. Uh, the reason that we're back again trying to predict the starting lineup for Bordeaux is we were sent a photograph by a gentleman we'll call Ben. Um, don't want to give any last names out or his real first name but thank you very much for the photograph basically what we're going to do is we're going to put the squad up on the screen now that's been rumoured to be taken over to France to play Bordeaux um, as you can see there's some some major omissions there really isn't there I think you know James Milner's not in the squad um, it looks slightly weakened because I think Martin Skirtle of course hasn't been taken Dejan Lovren although I would say that that doesn't actually weaken the squad um, and Christian Benteke as well so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and predict what I think will be the start 11 based on this insider information so here we go there you go did that in double fast time didn't I uh, we've got Simon Millian in goal we've got Gomez playing right of a back three with Colo Torre Mamadou Sacco Jordan I right wing back Moreno left wing wing look 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 left wing back Emre Chan with Rossiter in the centre, Firmino and Sexpot behind Danny Ings. Um, so, a couple of the reasons that I think it's going to be like this. I We did the formation show, me and Aubrey, on the RedmenTV.com. It's boss, it's £2 a month, it's first month free, of course. Check that out. We did a 45-minute show on um, what Liverpool formation is the best going forward, trying to rediscover our attack and flair. I think the, uh, the preview clip is already on YouTube. But we came to the conclusion that three at the back randomly seems to suit our players. So, with that in mind, that's why I've gone with the three at the back. Um, I think Roberto so Firmino and Coutinho could work really well behind Christian Benteke, but I think obviously with Benteke missing, or rumoured to be missing, Danny Ings gets to the start. So look, this is a really difficult one to predict because the squad is absolutely crazy, so I'm going to hand it over to my main man, Mr Paul Machen. Thanks Chris. Dynamite handover. Um, yeah, so I disagree. Um, do I, or am I just being argumentative? You decide. Um, let's, let's see what I think. Let's, just, let, let's do some crazy speed up effects. Um, yeah, that's not, not what you went for. That is. That's Did exactly you, what I put before. Put a four two two two. No, no, no. But with a with a lineback. So what I what I've kind of gone for was the idea of having two up top. But Danny Ings is probably going to end up being actually one of these. So I think we go back to four two three one. Um, and shut up! You never even had Rossiter in your team before, so shut up. Um, yeah, so I, I, I think that, and the reason why I've gone for these at the back is because these are basically the only senior players we've taken with us. Um, so it's more a question, not a question, less a question of the personnel, and more a question of how you fit the personnel into some semblance of a system. Um, the only obvious omission there is is Jordan Ard for me, um, because. I think he could well, you know, he could figure you could easily put Jordan Ive in there and drop Danny Ings out of all put Ings in instead of Origi. But you know what? Divock Origi, he's French. We're going to France. Get him in there. It's like like wrestlers winning the belt in the hometown. That's what we want to see. <laughs> Similarly for, for Sacco. Get him back in. He's back on native soil. Get him in there and uh, and give him that confidence boost. Um but honestly. I really don't know. I think the only other players from the bench who might, could, might even remotely figure, uh, Pedro Chiavea could well come on to replace one of these guys, maybe Rossiter later on in the game. And like I say, Jordan I could come on to change things around. I'd like to see it be, as I say, I'd like to see it be kind of like that, but that's a bit mad. And does Brendan have the bottle to do that? We'll see in due course. I'm going to hand it over now to Mr. Aubrey Reynolds. Well, I'm going to go with the same back line, but this 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Formation with absolutely no whiff is completely wrong. So I think it's going to be... I think it's going to be this. It's very similar to what Paul had, except Lana comes back in, where he's been a few times this season. Sexpot gets to be in the centre, the fulcrum of everything we're going to do. Firmino gets hopefully not wasted out on the right. But you've got a back four, Gomez in his right back, which is not his position, but it's going to be slightly better for him than the left back, hopefully. Moreno needs to get game time. Sacco needs to start playing because we hope he's going to come good. And this guy, Rossiter, is going to get a chance. So looking at the squad, that's what I think it's going to be. Hopefully it's close to that just because I want to beat Paul and Chris. And I don't know. It's a bit of a crazy one. I reckon Chilabella could come in there as well. So I'm going to pass you back to Chris to do the outro. So Agree or disagree? Let us know in the comments, as always. It's to be on the pitch with us, mate. Yeah. And they've, they've got a good relationship and they've got a good understanding. Also, if we you need talk, to see that on the pitch, though. But we need to see like, We do. We've we, not yeah, seen that. We've yet. not seen it. For, for Liverpool, we've not seen it yet. The other thing is, I'm a firm believer that when you when you go and so generic as in, not for a specific match, what do we play? Play your best players. 
find a formation that gets your best players to be on the pitch. And I think because you've just said £60 million, and he has, he's shown enough, he's been isolated 